This is Albert signing into Kane's Wrath on the map Wasteland Dams. And you better watch out. Duck crossing here. We have got ourselves a mutant hovel that we can all hope and pray comes to factor into this game. It probably won't, but we can all hope. In the north, making up team number one as the Cyan GDI. Give it up for Futurama. His teammate, as almost always, these two guys, as the Black Hand playing green, it's Drive. Drive and Futurama, a powerhouse couple, if there ever was one in Kane's Wrath. Although recently I have been, uh, well, not recently, but in the last two or three months, there was a bunch of Futurama and Senna games, and they were also quite good as a couple. Anyways, on the left side of the map, playing as the pink nod, this is Bike Rush. And as the red black hand, the one place that hasn't been corrupted by Tiberium or capitalism, space! And in a different video, Adriana Lockhart pointed out that, oh my gosh, Space, do you ever not go for a flame rush? It's like every game that I've seen of Space recently, almost every game, it feels like he's been playing Black Hand or some kind of Nod faction, and he goes for, ooh, we're wrecking a rush. This is a little smidge different. Is there, what? There's not, oh, he doesn't have a second, there isn't a second operate. What are you doing, Space? What are you doing? What in the world are you doing? A um, little bit of a burst of infantry coming out here for Drive, but Adriana Lockhart in a different video was like, hey, every time I see her space in a game, I always think of that line from Tim Curry. And I was like, ah, oh, that's great. I should intro <laughs> space as if I'm Tim Curry. A couple of shadow teams from Bike Rush Owns hunting around the map looking for something, possibly just to secure that tib spike in the north. Pitbull on the move out from Futurama. He's got that powerhouse GDI play, so we'll see if we get to the late game and if that really affects things in this match. Space with a big push out. Rocket Squad's getting shut down by this triple shredder turret of Space. And the Militant Squad's from Bike Rush going to help finish things off. Bike Rush with his own shredder turrets as well, just going to keep everything nice and locked up. Reckoner comes in. Is there actually anything inside of it? It's a rocket and a black hand squad. So this does have some tank killing potential. Big sell off from Drive. Just packs up his MCV and says, I am out of here. And wow, what a start for this game. Um, from this point on, it is Bike Rush and Space's game to lose. Uh, this is going to be really tough for Drive and Futurama to come back from. He's going to go for the crush on the Black Hand Squad. He's going to get many of them. No, he only gets two of the members. Most of the flames still remain within an inch. And Bike Rush and uh, Master... Uh, <laughs> Futurama Drive Space, somebody unleashed. Someone is going to get the crush on those Black Hand Squad members. Sorry, Drive. Forgot his name for about an hour there. A lot of ducks on this map. What are you doing, ducks? What do you think you're doing? Trying to burn down that Tib Spike. Meanwhile, Pitbulls from Futurama looking to do a bit of damage. Dance with the bikes of Bike Rush. Futurama comes in. Unfortunately, no engineer inside of this APC to force a MCV pack up or anything like that. Drive reestablishes his refinery way up here. And uh, still a rocket squad and a black hand squad inside of that Reckoner. So that was definitely a very successful opening from space, despite the fact that he sometimes, it feels like, goes for a lot of flame tank rushes. He probably doesn't. It's probably like, you know, 1 in 10 games or 1 in 20 games or whatever. But those are the games that I happen to have seen. So there's like a selection effect going on where... It's not actually as common as it feels, but it feels common because of the selection. Futurama spreads out, taking for himself some additional refineries. His natural expansion well established. And it looks like he may have an opportunity to take a third base if he goes quickly to the north side of the map and uh, looks to secure this contested field. Bike Rush Owns is probably going to be thinking the same thing for himself. 
He's got himself a secret shrine. He's got himself a... Uh, I don't know what he's going for. He could be going for Confessor Cabals, or he could be going for Tib Infusion, just so that he doesn't take that Tib damage, although that is uh, Space's stuff. Militant squads are here, but uh, they're not really going to be doing... Or Confessor Cabal squads are here, but they're not really going to be doing a whole lot for Drive. Mind drop on top of the Predator tanks, and Futurama doesn't care. He just drives through almost every single mine location. Very unfortunate. As double airfield gets spotted out, Space goes for the scout with two Scorpion tanks and manages to get the intel. There's finally the kill on that Reckoner. Finally the shutdown of that attack, which started this game out in such a powerful manner, manner for Space and Bike Rush owns. For a second, I was really confused as to how there was a mothership on this field, or on this map, but uh, it's the neutral mothership that spawns in on this map. It's a feature. It's to be expected. But I was really confused as to how three Nod players and a GDI player managed to get a mothership. Venom's going to be targeting down the hammerheads. Things sort of going from bad to worse for Futurama. He is going to try and take this field in the north. Two flame tanks sneaking around the side. Use a flamer to burn down a flamer. The, uh, the purifying flame versus the regular. And I guess that is the difference between these two. Not a whole lot, but it is something. Catalyst missile locks down two refineries as it looks like the, the War Factory gets eliminated as well. Drive is still in this game, but um, Drive hasn't really been in this game for quite some time. Another flame tank moving through the middle of the map. Futurama stealing the Blue Tiberium. Bike Rush owns. Not even really going to try and contest this northern field against Futurama. The Hammerheads seek out this flame tank, and they'll shut that down nice and early. Well done there to Futurama. Shuts that down. Stops space from uh, too many more flame tank shenanigans. Stealth tanks come in here for Bike Rush Owns. They get the kill on one Harvester, and the flame tank is going for the refinery, and he barely gets the refinery before the flame tank goes down. Beacons firing off as Drive hits back with his own catalyst cannon, or his own catalyst missile. Sells off his Tib chemical plant and drops himself a little square of Tiberium as well. And another flame tank coming through. Futurama trying to pull double duty as he is playing uh, basically 1.5 times of this 2v2. Double snipe on two harvesters. Maybe gets the MCV, but no, it packs, it unpacks in time. Rocket squads inside of these hammerheads, but also some flame units as well. They're going to jump on that stealth tank. They get the kill nice and easy. And even this Venom won't be enough to shut down these hammerheads with the rocket squads inside of them. Just have to sort of cycle them around. Goodbye, Hammer. Goodbye, Venom. That hammerhead gets the shot off. Redeemer steps out onto the map. Bike Rush, the first one to get an epic unit. Almost always the first one to get an epic unit. Drive just cannot catch a break as two stealth tanks come in for the kill. And Bike Rush owns relentless. Tib Core missile on those, on those stealth tanks getting so much damage. Three stealth tanks for the snipe of those two harvesters. And once again, Drive just desperately trying to find something to do in this game. Some way to be viable in this match. And yet, he hasn't been able to do it. Stealth tanks getting close to getting caught. They're going to dive in and try and trade blows with these pit bulls. Stealth tanks tend to overkill the pit bulls, but uh, sometimes it works out if you're able to cycle the stealth tanks around and just chip away at the pit bulls one at a time because the volley of the stealth tank pretty much guarantees a kill on the pit bull. Meanwhile, you need, I don't know, five or six shots from the pit bulls to kill a stealth tank. Orbital Bombardment coming in to keep those infantry numbers down. No shockwave artillery, but yes, there it is. Landing on the obelisk, not quite. 
Actually, no, I don't think that was a shockwave artillery. Meanwhile, Bike Rush pushing in in the north. The Redeemer steps out onto the field. Drive finally here on the front line. He's going to take a couple of shots at these stealth tanks as they chip away more and more harvesters. Futurama's, Futurama's economy never getting properly established in the north. And now Futurama getting pushed away in the south. Bike Rush and Space. It looks like they might finally be in solid control of this 2v1. Drive has been doing a good job of wheeling and dealing with what he can. He has not been a very active participant in this match, but as much as he can, you know, UD's seeing that catalyst missile, pushing out infantry when he's able. He's been trying to uh, do something in this match, but he has been fighting from the back foot this entire time. The Juggernaut stepping forward under the colors of space now. And uh, Drive or under the colors of drive, excuse me, Futurama beaconing in that southern field. I think he's like, hey, you could try and take this field now. But of course, drive has not had any kind of an army to actually move down into that area all this time. Engineer trying desperately to keep up with that Redeemer. Cabal Squad gets caught. Lasers here. And finally, the Engineer jumps inside of the Redeemer. Helping to pilot that guy, keep him operational. <laughs> Rocket squads versus a black hand squad. That's uh, that's not an easy win for the for the rockets. Double obelisk by space. One from Bike Rush as well, and so much DPS on that Redeemer mind drop as well to try and cut off the return journey good by redeemer just gets absolutely annihilated as those stealth tanks for bike rush owns doing so so much and now this refinery for space is getting burned down drive finally returning the favor after all this time and an obelisk is even going to be deployed to shut that down single tip spike in the corner coming back on a line as uh, someone finally takes it over Another Redeemer steps out onto the map. I'm guessing it's spaces. I don't know where it's actually being deployed. It's actually, yeah, space down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Juggernaut's trying to hold the line in the north. Futurama's hammerhead's not quite going to be enough to break this base in the south. Futurama finally getting some of this green Tiberium in the north that he's had so much trouble actually securing for the entirety of this game. Marv steps out, a couple of individual Venoms split around the map as there's just battles and wonkiness happening all over the place. A couple of bikes trying to sneak by for drive, but Bike Rush shuts them down with stealth tanks. Meanwhile, on the right side of the map, Space garrisons up his Redeemer with an Engineer and a Flamer, and the tanks all go down. Futurama not able to hold the line, but the Redeemer, the Marv, is on the line to match toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Redeemer on the right side of the map. Juggernaut's coming through the middle. I guess mines were there. Once again, the stealth tanks coming in. Bike Rush owns and space with that catalyst missile stealth tank combination. It is just too much damage, too much DPS as Drive is desperately trying to catch these stealth tanks and he won't get the kill as the tip vein detonation weakens the army as they cross through the middle of the tip field, detonating perhaps a couple of crystals as well. Space and Bike Rush, despite the fact that they've been playing essentially a 1v2 or a 2v1 or a 2v1.5, whatever it is, they have not been able to close up this game. And now with the two Redeemers in concert working together, they're going to try and shut down Futurama and drive. The MCV is under threat. This Redeemer will not be stopped. The Shockwave Artillery fires off, catches Space's Redeemer as the Marv closes in. But will there be enough firepower, mind drop or something? somewhere lands as the juggernauts chip away at bike rush's redeemer and the mcv of futurama almost goes down it's so close it's a health bar race as the redeemer falls and the mcv stands strong futurama pulling his weight and then some as space finally closes in the emp has worn off these juggernauts trying to body block for that Marv, and the Marv escapes up the hill with most of its health bar still intact. The reinforcements coming in as another mothership explodes somewhere in the middle of the map. 
bikes or some kind of harassing force coming through, but it's going to be double obelisk. Space trying to hold the line with his obelisks. They fall in record fashion as they get off maybe one shot or two shots between them. Space trying to hold this line, and it looks like it's a double air tower deploy from Bike Rush. I'm not sure if that was actually for anything or if that was just to buy time and absorb damage. Drive trying to push up this hill. Can he actually do it? I mean, he's got almost nothing here. The Juggernaut could do it in theory by itself, but will he actually have the space and the opportunity to do that? Space's Redeemer desperately low on health, but it still survives. It's still an active threat. The Rage Gen, perhaps the most valuable part of that Redeemer, still there and waiting. Temple of Nod, it looks like it's a real one as Space has that deployed and it's now on the front line as that Temple of Nod keeping the EMP away, trying to use those master computer countermeasures to, uh, to be a little bit more effective dealing with that EMP. Futurama and Drive somehow pulling this one together. They're making actual headway. Space and Bike Rush are not dead. Don't count them out yet, but they are getting seriously shoved back for how bad of an opening this was for Drive. The fact that he has gotten anywhere back into this game is amazing. Futurama really pulling his own weight. The MCV now on the move. Frontline is coming for you, Space. You better have an answer. That answer might just be entirely juggernaut, or it might be just obelisks after obelisk. Spectres firing away. Space with a couple of Spectres near the front line. That's going to be his answer, and that's a pretty darn good answer. Rage Gen fires off, but were the attack orders already given? It looks like they were. Spectre's not quite going to land the shots against the Mar, but the Redeemer is doing a pretty good job. Voice of Kane is here as well. Bike Rush starting to walk down the hill on the north side of the map. He's going on the offense since Futurama is busy here in the southern half of the map on the offense as well. Spectre's getting some money shots against those juggernauts. Two of them going down, and the other two won't be far, far to follow. Redeemer steps forward. Redeemer goes down as the Marv is now the only epic unit in the southern half of the map. Bike Rush pushes forward, trying to get some EMPs out onto this field. He's got two avatars pressuring, uh, pressuring Futurama in the north. I've been casting so many games recently, I don't even know who is who anymore. Futurama continues to push forward in the south. He's actually making serious headway against the infrastructure of Bike Rush and Space. If he can shut down this Redeemer, Redeemer engineering facility, that would hamstring Space. Bike Rush continuing to push forward, but the beam cannons are trying to even the odds. They're trying to suck out the life of those avatars. It's Drive versus Bike Rush, but it's over Futurama's base. Meanwhile, Futurama's army is in the south. He dropped a couple of refineries here on the way to try and keep himself going forward. Rage Gen fires off his space as a uh, Bike Rush goes deep with the Redeemer trying to shut down the Tier 3. He's going to get the Tech Center. He's going to cut the head off of the production of Futurama. No more Juggernauts as Futurama gets the heel on that Conyard and keeps pressing forward. Never stop pushing as Futurama makes further more and more progress against space in the south. Bike Rush makes more and more progress against Futurama in the north. Dare Drive cutting through the middle of the map. Wastelands Dam, not a map we see very often, but what a battleground it has been today. Space having to cut off more and more of his forces. Futurama just will not be stopped. A veteran Marv as it ticks up more and more uh, kills to its name. Futurama has been pushed completely out of the northern side of the map. Drive is mounting a second wave of defense as Futurama closes in on the southern half of the map. He's managed to drop a couple of refineries all throughout the map as he's maybe even going to be able to utilize his Marv to get some of that stuff, to get some of that Tiberium up. Redeemer taking a bit of damage from the beam cannons. Couple of infantry losses. Oh, an MCV gets caught by a mind drop. That mind drop was, I think, quite some time ago, but Drive just cannot do anything in this game. It is not allowed, it is not permitted for Drive to participate. 
Bike Rush coming out with superior bike numbers. He cleans up Drive's Force in the middle of the map. He's even going to get this Harvester as it's completely undefended, going for that blue Tiberium. Futurama continues to press forward as that Harvester expires in the middle of the map. Spectres getting hunted and shut down. Bike Rush and, and Space having to sell off everything as they retreat from the front line or from their original main base. They're pushing their front line further and further. Drive just needs to buy more time. He's got a decent amount of beam cannons. If he can draw this engagement out, he might be able to take down Bike Rush's mechanized army. It's all focus on the Redeemer. He's going to zap the life from the Redeemer. Rage Gen fires off. How much will that really disrupt D Drive? As a couple of rocket squads take down at least one beam cannon, he presses forward. Bike Rush's infantry are going to try and cull the numbers. They're going to try and cut down the forces and even a flame tank coming through for space. There's not enough beam cannons here. Drive is starting to fall apart. He may barely maintain control of this section of the map as space Space and Bike Rush have been completely kicked out of their own main base. Futurama with just bits and pieces still left around the map. Closes in his Marv uncontested. Now double vet, perhaps close to going heroic. If it goes fully heroic, that might be a game changer. The healing abilities of that Marv with double engineer and heroic status would be pretty impressive. Flame tanks from space. They're making the comeback. They're finding their mark. They're finding their opportunity as they're going to burn down power plant after power plant. And even shadow teams coming back into the mix from whence and from where. I don't even know. But the war factory survives just barely close enough to be killed off. Flame tanks getting hunted down in every corner of the map as Drive is going to make short work of another one in the north. The Marv still double vet, but the MP Raider Buggies coming in for the kill. They don't land the shot. More Raider Buggies are going to be getting deployed. Shutting down the power is definitely one way to try and slow that production. All Bike Rush wants to do is get an EMP to land on that Marv. A whole bunch of foxholes trying to create some problems for the army of Bike Rush. Space falling to pieces. I'm not sure actually what else Space has on the map. It looks like he managed to deploy a war factory in the north. Other than that, he doesn't have a whole lot left, but he's burned down this entire base. This little forward command post from Futurama has been shut down. The real production is there. Futurama, if he could deploy something on the high ground, that might get him an anchoring point. I guess really he just needs a war factory up here so that he can heal up this Marv even more and get some uh, maybe some juggernauts onto the front line. That would be fantastic. Although, has he actually rebuilt his Tier 3? I'm not certain that he has. Drive holding this hill has been a critical defensive point they probably would have lost this game if Drive would have folded at some point in the past. Space, where is he getting all of these flame tanks? They're just everywhere on the map. They're going every single direction. He's going for the MCB. He nearly gets it. The MCB redeploys as the flame tank explodes. Two more flame tanks sitting, just waiting in the middle of the map, ready to go. And shadow teams, like I said from earlier, they're coming back for another round of bombing. I'm not sure what his goal is here with these shadow teams, but hey, if he can kill off some of these power plants, that might be enough by themselves. And these are actually, I believe, stealthed flame tanks because of Bike Rush. Bike Rush has that stealth ability. Scan gets deployed there. Hammerhead finds a couple of these flame tanks. A couple of uh, random infantry squads running around the map and getting a bit caught by the Tiberium. Shadow teams finding some uh, some damage here. Hammerhead's looking for the shadow teams, but not quite going to be able to find them. Another flame tank comes up here. He's just going to go for the kill on the Tib Spike. Man, Purifying Flame just burns down buildings so, so quickly. Hit for hit as Tib Spikes go down on both sides of the map. Rocket Squad step forward. Going to need maybe a couple more Rocket Squads to kill this thing quickly. If he turns around, then he probably dies to the rear armor. Ooh, he turns he turns sideways. Ooh, nearly gets the kill, too. Flame tank goes down. 
turning into an absolute scrappy knife fight between all of these guys. Radar jamming missile fires off. Hammerhead cycling around the map. So many flame tanks right here in the middle. And they're maybe getting caught completely out of position here as this is enough flame tanks to burn down a base in about a quarter second. They're going to try and go for the kill of the Harvester. They're just burning down the Tiberium, actually, which might be a pretty decent strategy, all things considered. Flame tanks now getting targeted down. The terrain causing some problems for the Mantises as, uh, well, these refineries and watchtowers aren't going to be long for this world, but the flame tanks aren't long for this world either. One flame tank remains. It's trying to find its way through this Tiberium field. It'll be able to burn down this watchtower in a 1v1 if it ever starts burning. Just like two seconds to burn down that watchtower. Absolutely crazy amounts of DPS. Bikes, four bikes swinging back around. Juggernaut's back onto the front line. Where's the Marv? It's up here on the north side. It's kind of out of position. It's away from the rest of the army. There might be an opportunity for EMP Raider Buggies to come in. They lock down two Juggernauts who are undefended anyways. And Bike Rush is going to be looking for the win. Bike Rush is going to be looking for the jugular to cut off the head of Futurama. Move in here and go for the kill. Hammerheads explode over the base of Futurama. Bike Rush may not be stopped. A couple of EMP Raider buggies are here to defend this Redeemer against the Marv, and Futurama hands everything over to Drive at some point in the past. I'm not actually uh, sure when that happened, but Bike Rush owns is so, so close to devastating Drive. Drive moves out on the north side of the map with everything that he's got. He just goes for the A move. EMP Raider Buggies lock down the Marv, and there's the repeat EMP as this Marv is not long for this world. Goodbye, sweet prince. You did so, so much. You came so close. And in the end, it just wasn't enough. Drive will fall. If he crushes this base in the north, Bike Rush just has to buy time. He needs anti-infantry defense on the top of this hill to try and hold the line against the against the infantry army of Drive. If Drive had uh, still this refinery here and something over here, he might be able to mount some kind of a comeback. He has a decent number of harvesters spread throughout the uh, the map. Bike Rush about to lose his crane as well, so whatever's there, I hope it gets deployed quickly. It gets cancelled. Flame tanks coming through for Bike Rush. I guess space also left at some point in this game. Too caught up in the action of it all. It comes down to Drive versus Bike Rush. How many times in 2021 have we seen this matchup? Drive versus Bike Rush. Them both almost equally matched between the two of them. I think Bike Rush just has to defend against a wave of infantry, and uh, then that might be it. Bike Rush actually doesn't have that many buildings. If he had, if he had some way to devastate these high health buildings quickly, then Drive could just pummel Bike Rush to death, almost a base race sort of situation. Bike Rush manages to sneak out an MCV, and this MCV can head down south, establish a new base. Lots of economy there in the south. Lots of. Uh, Cash just waiting to be claimed. Rage Gen fires off, and the army is going to destroy itself. Drive coming close to beating Bike Rush out of this game, but it won't be enough. Ooh, Hammerhead sneaking around the south side. Could he shut down this MCV? That would be a big chunk of cash and a big chunk of time on the War Factory spent on basically nothing. One bike is here. It takes a shot at a hammerhead, but the hammerhead survives. This is more and more bikes. Oh, this might be too many bikes for Drive to deal with. He's going to catch a couple of bikes as he kind of skates away. But uh, Drive, he's still holding on to hope. The mothership explodes over the middle of the map. That's what that big base wave is. There's the rebuild of the MCV. I think Drive just has the infantry of Black Hand and then now an MCV of GDI. Man, if but if Drive would have been able to shut down this MCV of Bike Rush, what an absolute loony bin of a match this has been. Just 
all over the place. I mean, Shadow Team Rush and Flame, uh, Flame Reckoner, Rocket Flame Reckoner Rush. Drive being almost absent from this game for so long, but then being the one holding the cards in the last moments. Bike Rush owns getting kind of outpaced by space in a lot of ways, but then again, Bike Rush owns being the one to hold the cards in the last moments. A crazy 2v2. It feels like it's a done deal for Bike Rush, but Drive could still pull something out of here. Well, I guess we're just so conditioned to Bike Rush winning from these really bizarre, scrappy situations. Like, Drive has beaten Bike Rush a number of times in 2021 in 1v1s, but if it's a weird situation that basically no one has ever seen before, and the game has progressed in a very odd way, Bike Rush just seems to always win out in those situations. He has, like, some kind of star sense that just allows him to win from unbelievably weird situations and come back in bizarre ways. And I mean, to be fair, Bike Rush and Space started this game with a pretty big win against Drive. Narrowly missing the Harvester there. The timing, almost perfect, but barely not perfect. MCV deploying up at this field, possibly to drop a refinery and then move on to somewhere else. Bike Rush trying to maintain control of this blue Tiberium field. I'm not sure if he's going to have an opportunity to do anything with it. Hammerheads here, but the bikes are coming in to try and cut down those hammerheads. If the Mantises and the bikes can't be, if they can be dealt with, then the Redeemer can be eliminated. Double Vet Redeemer looking ready to go heroic. It steps forward. It's going to take a chunk of damage from these hammerheads, but there isn't a lot of DPS on the ground, and Bike Rush Owns is just going to stomp all over this base. The Mantis gets jumped on. It doesn't get very many shots off, but it cleans up another hammerhead. Sell off all the buildings. Don't give Bike Rush the experience. Don't let that ha Redeemer go heroic. He may be able to get it from the, inf from the units. As the bike's getting cleaned up, they're trying to come in here to clean up the hammerheads, but they just keep stepping onto the forces of drive and getting eliminated. Predator tanks within an inch of their life, and now this Redeemer is kind of surrounded. It's kind of rear armor every direction that you turn. Someone is shooting at you. Bike Rush owns burning down his own Redeemer. This might be the one chance that drive has to take this match back. Rage Gen to fire off at the last second. He gets a Rage Gen, so these units might tear each other apart as the Redeemer goes down and the Veteran C expires. A couple of shots exchange hands as Drive's forces don't tear each other to bits, but they do think about it. Drive. Oh, he has to be careful about these Venoms. They're looking to catch those Hammerheads. Ooh, getting close, getting close. He's trying to save them. Cutting the corners. The Venoms are quick. They get one Hammerhead. The others might be a little bit too far as uh, getting close to the danger zone. Rocket Squad's getting their shots off, overkilling one of the Venoms, but that might be okay. Predator tanks up to the hill. Splash damage just doing devastation to the forces of Drive. Bike Rush owns looking to protect his two Tiberium fields there. He can pump out so much army with that economy that he's just secured in the south there. Venom's targeting down these Predator tanks. Boy, do they not kill stuff quickly, but they do kill it eventually. The last hammerhead goes down. Four avatars stomp their way from the high ground down to the low ground. Venoms coming down to the south side. This base has been so active. This little section of the map has been so active for Drive. I mean, Futurama established it all down there, but uh, Drive is the one who's really been utilizing it. These guys have swapped places on the map like two or three or four times over the course of this game. Bike Rush owns able to establish these two refineries, these four or five harvesters, a bit quicker than Drive was, and that extra economy 
has been powering this second or like 20th wave of attack. Drive has had sort of more stuff established, but it's all in wonky positions like these refineries here. Bit of long distance harvesting. Additional refinery deploys for bike rush. I don't think this is a multi MCV play. Up the hill goes Drive, looking to strike into the heart of a bike rush. Confusion grenades coming down, the hallucinogenic grenades could cause some problems for these tanks, who knows. Rocket squads are here to defend. Reinforcements, I think, getting called in. Perhaps the, bl the Bloodhounds will be on the way, or maybe even sniper teams for Drive to try and beat down this base with. Another Orca Strike coming in, and Drive is looking to cut off the base, cut off the economy of Bike Rush owns. Bike Rush selling off power plants, getting some extra militant squads onto the front line so that they can try and chop down these reinforcements. The Bloodhounds moments too late. If only they could have been here 30 seconds earlier, making this attack that much stronger, giving these APCs something to do. More mines over there. Avatars marching through the base of a drive. A fully heroic avatar for Bike Rush owns as these Predator tanks fall to the rockets of Bike Rush. Harvesters getting cleaned up. That one bike gets jumped on, but the bikes are going to be produced pretty consistently. Avatars eating up APCs. Hammerheads trying to find the MCV and Bike Rush's MCV. I don't know, maybe it'll get sniped, but will it even matter if uh, that's actually the second MCV of Bike Rush? He is now running a multi MCV play. The Venom will go toe to toe with that, that anti air battery, but it just does basically nothing to it. Venoms are uh, not so good against the, the buildings, much better against the infantry, decent against the aircraft. Samsite gets jumped on. A couple of these turrets are about to redeploy for that Samsite. They get off a volley. Drive jumps on them. Second Samsite deploys, and the MCV finally goes down, but that's only one of the two MCVs. Mike Rush owns just cannot kill Drive. He's just sliding his way all over the max map slippery and just deploying everywhere trying to keep up his buildings trying to keep up his army and he just somehow is still in this game bike rush owns just has not been able to kill him trying to go for the stealth reveal on that harvester won't quite get the kill on it and i guess Bike Rush feels like he's in the more stable position, but honestly, Drive has been so difficult to kill that I don't I don't know that Drive is totally out of it yet either. All right, finally that harvester did go down. This other harvester getting revealed by the missile squad might be enough to kill it off. Bikes come through, but they get cleaned up by the hammerheads, and now the venoms are here. But there's an AA battery. It may not matter if the Venoms are able to kill the Hammerheads faster than the AA battery kills the Venoms. The health bar race is won for Bike Rush just by sheer numbers. It's going to be costly, but he won't have to deal with the Hammerheads anymore. Such a powerful force for Drive, and now the Hammerheads are all gone. He's going to have to rebuild them slowly, slowly, one at a time with his limited resources. Bike Rush owns having drained most of the Tiberium from this southern corner of the map where he got his legs back under him, has now re-expanded and turned this into just a wild 1v1. I can't believe how this game has turned around. Avatar's step forward. Pure chaos is this match. This harvester, oh, I, for a second I thought it was, uh, there was a little, I don't know. I thought that, heart, that health bar was basically gone. All right, hammerheads are coming back out onto the field. Could even be, ooh, could even be double hammerhead production by drive. Yeah, I guess now that he's kind of back online, I love that he just has this random AA battery still down here. Drive holding onto this tip spike for quite some time. I mean, I guess Futurama is the one who actually got it for him, or I'm pretty sure.
Avatar's marching forward. Drives big old tier one GDI army moving out. Oh man, if Drive had been able to sneak out to tier three, get up to uh, rail guns, that would have totally changed the way this army, how effective this army is. But also, juggernauts would have been amazing. All right, this army is gonna try and break bike rush once again. Samsite gets deployed, but it's pretty far forward. That can be dealt with. They're gonna be targeted down. One turret still remains. Finally, it gets shut down. Now the Hammerheads just need to pull away, let the APCs and the Predator tanks deal with the rest. Hammerheads trading out, absorbing those rockets as if Bike Rush has to pay for them. Another SAM site gets deployed. If the Hammerheads go down, this becomes an easier equation for Bike Rush. APCs and Predators. Well, the Mind Drop is going to be on top of the whole army. Gets three kills basically for free. The one clicks, saving Bike Rush perhaps in this moment. We'll see if the Avatars and the Obelisks are enough to stand up against this tide of forces. Hero Avatar from the high ground. We forgot about you, but no one will from this point forward. This guy is going to melt this army. It is done and dusted. You can't fight against an Obelisk and a Hero Avatar. It's just not possible. Rocket squads moving out. Bike rush owns fueled by these by these fields in the really on the southern half of the map. I mean, if you count both of those corners, bike rush owns just fueled by so much weird spread out economy. And now he's taking this field in the north. You need more firepower. You need more punch. Uh, drives MCV down here on the low ground. I don't know, maybe dropping a crane would have been a better choice so that he could keep his MCV on the move and also queue up buildings. Tier 3 would have been a game changer. Rail guns would have given him a lot more firepower against those avatars. Orca Strike comes in, going for the Tier 3, going for the SAM sites, trying to shut down the power plants perhaps as well. Pitbulls coming in. He gets the tier three, so no more avatars that maybe also shut down a Redeemer engineering facility under construction. Who knows? Sam Sight's getting targeted down. This is a lot of hammerheads, but they're getting very low on health. Ooh, a couple of them getting cleaned up. Three, maybe four at the end there. Just getting wasted by those Sam Sights. And Bike Rush Owns has just slowly but surely been building up a network of difficult to defeat SAM sites. Hallucinogenic grenades causing some problems for this infantry as they turn their guns on each other. Bike Rush Owens never did get that Tib infusion. He's walked through so many Tiberium fields with his infantry in this game that he maybe would have had an extra couple of squads. He wouldn't have taken nearly as much damage. It looks like we may be converging in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. Drive heading back to that quadrant, calling in reinforcements. The Bloodhounds are here. Hammerheads have healed up. Bike Rush Owns took that tip spike back away from Drive, and Drive is going to look to crush Bike Rush here in the southern section of the map. Bike Rush has his army up there in the north, and this expansion may be done for. Drive pushes in, Sam Sight's clearing the skies, but it's not enough to stop the Predators and the APCs on the ground. One of Bike Rush's MCVs is going to get targeted, it's going to get eliminated. Another neutral drone ship gets eliminated. Venom's getting the kill on that hammerhead. Bike Rush owns trying to keep those aircraft numbers down, it's such an important part of Drive's army composition. Without those aircraft, it's so much easier to deal with this army, and now the stealth tanks are back in it. Bike Rush owns, he knows how to play this, this scrappy knife fight of a game. Three harvesters just about with one volley. Fred APC continues to push forward. Pitbull's mixed in as well.
All right, Bike Rush has been cleared out of the southern section of the map. Drive has reestablished himself. Bike Rush owns, meanwhile, not with a straight-up army, not with the strength of all of his firepower, but just with stealth tanks. He's clearing out the main base of Drive once again up the hill, trying to come in on the very southern edge of the map so that he can try and get his army in position though, so that he's not fighting on the uphill incline or into choke points. More infantry just heading through those tip fields. This might be the showdown. If Drive or Bike Rush loses this army, oh, this might be it for Drive. This army might be the only thing that he's got if he loses every single harvester to these stealth tanks. Stealth tanks starting to get targeted down, but more and more harvesters getting eliminated. Laser capacitors finally finishing up for Bike Rush. Drive pulls away. Not wanting to cross those fields and get clicked. Bike Rush owns has rebuilt so, so much. Harvester after harvester going down. Drive has perhaps only the harvesters left on this field, which is still a good five harvesters, but it's nowhere near the income that he had quite recently. These other refineries, derelict, unused. Random AA batteries just spread all throughout the map, getting perhaps some extra random kills against these Venoms. Pitbull's now going to get some free damage. Bike Rashon swung in too far into the base of Drive, and now he will lose every single Venom. All right, Bike Rush has reestablished himself. Yes, he went all the way back up to Tier 3, even getting his chemical plant back up and running. Ooh, Tib Vane Detonation catches a chunk of this Predator APC Pitbull army. But at least now that's on cooldown, so he knows that that can't explode his army a second time. Not that he has much of an army left. And Drive still just never... Oh, the MCV getting caught! And that is the end of the MCV. One more volley will seal the deal. Those stealth tanks for Bike Rush owns going veteran. Or going elite, rather. Not fully heroic just yet, but nearly. Drive presses forward on two fronts, but it's going to be against so many base defenses. Oh, that hero avatar... He's there. <laughs> he just looked at that pit bull. He didn't even fire a shot. He looked at the pit bull and killed him. All right, Bike Rush is going to get pushed out of this section of the map. But Bike Rush just has to hold the line as this army turns north. He can split off a section of his own forces. Oh, another Redeemer steps out onto the map. And that is now a fully heroic stealth tank which is just going to be able to chip away at the base and the army of Drive. Venom's on the front line. This base just needs to buy time for Bike Rush. His army marches to the front lines. There's our heroic avatar. Va vapor Bomb annihilates the army. Drive has almost nothing left. He has come back from the brink so many times. He deserves, like, some kind of Cliff Edge award. It's not even fair how quickly those heroic stealth tanks kill basically everything. Ooh, he walks into almost a bunch of APCs. That might have been enough firepower to clean him up. Catalyst missile to seal the deal on those two uh, refineries. Bike Rush owns having secured these two fields, I mean, really these four fields, for so, so long, and letting Drive play the aggressive card, letting Drive swing every single which way on the map and just attack, attack, attack. Drive has exhausted army after army, and he's no closer to victory. He's even further away because of how slow and steady and defensive bike rush has been playing this those harvesters stacking up on top of each other taking so much splash damage against these stealth tanks this one stealth tank 
and the stealth tank will sacrifice itself. The Venoms somewhat uncontested there, at least for the current moment, as there's the fully heroic stealth tank, comes in, taking some shots, absorbing the damage from those Predator tanks. And Drive has a decent army. I don't know that he's ever had enough army to really fight against the forces of Bike Rush. Melt before your eyes. Drive sells everything on the high ground around that army. Pulls his front line a little bit closer to home. Splits his army in two. Bike Rush owns might finally have enough that he's confident he can push out on the map and just take it. I mean, he's been building towards this moment for, uh, you know, the, I don't know, the second half of this game. How? That time code can't be right. This is not minute 50. I was going to say the last 10 minutes of this game, but if this is that long of a match, then it's been like the last 25 minutes of this game. Oh, Drive selling off nearly everything. He's pulling together making his defense as tight as it can be. And he's going to be moving in on this base. It's up to Bike Rush to just drop Obelisk after Obelisk. And in this situation, there's basically no winning move for Drive. The Redeemer is coming in. Kill the MCV. Well, you can't kill it fast enough. Kill the Redeemer. You can't kill that fast enough. The Obelisk is here. Drive now getting encircled, three obelisks, peppering his forces, taking them out one by one, rocket squads and a redeemer stepping forward to the front line. Every shot, another death. Every shot, bike rush closer to victory and drive further away. This fully heroic stealthy boy. Too much as Drive has been defeated, playing a heroic match against Bike Rush Owns, coming from behind the absolute bottom tier player at the start of the match because he got double teamed. And in the end, he came out to nearly be the victor, just absolutely crushing it. Space and Futurama leaving the game about halfway through, almost exactly on the halfway mark. And look at that, Drive just absolute bottom of the barrel for so much of this game and yet he came so close to fighting bike rush just straight up 1v1 bike rush with every advantage from minute one of the game just could not close it out coming so close to it slipping away coming so close to drive getting the win what an amazing match and what an incredible game for Drive. Even though he lost, he won in our hearts. The man was just unstoppable. Every single area of the map under his control almost at one point or another. And Bike Rush owns, you know, ultimately the victor. But from that kind of a beginning, how is it any other way? The fact that it was that close is amazing. Drive was such a champion. That will do it for this game, for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And this is Cybert, signing out.